Hello everybody, Funker Hunter UK here. 2020 is finally coming to an end, although by the time that you guys are seeing this video because of like me editing it and everything, it will be a bit late. So in today's video we'll be doing the top 10, that is 10, uh, top 10 pops of 2020. It's the pops that I have selected myself, so it's not the official top 10 pops of 2020, it'll be the ones that I've got behind me. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say. Let's jump straight into the video. So there is actually something else to say. This is actually a two-part video, so I did originally film this as a one long video um, and after editing it was like a 30 minute long video. So what I've done is I've split it into two parts, so this is part one and part two should follow this one shortly. It should appear on the end screens at the end of the video, so if you want to check it out after you've seen this one uh, and follow on, you can totally do that. So yeah, I'm actually filming this after I finished editing, which is why I'm in a different outfit. So this is actually the next day for me, but um, anyway, it's all part of the same video, so yeah. But yeah, so now we can jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so let's start things off with number one. Yes, I could go 10 to 1 and then, yeah, but I want to start with the best pop. So the very, my most favourite pop this year was the uh, Black Widow Glow Chase, Glow in the Dark Chase. Oh. Um, a cool thing is, in the last video, um, I did show this off and I said at the end of the video that I would be um, turning all the lights off and making it glow in the dark, but I never did that, so here's some shots of that now. Okay, I know exactly what you're thinking. Dominic, this is not the Black Widow chase, and you are completely correct. Uh, this is Dumbledore. <laughs> so basically what happened is, later on in the video we have a glow chase as well, so I'm going to show them glowing together rather than individually so you'll see black widow glowing but later on in the video but yeah so this is number one in my list i um i'm still too scared to take this out of the box um one of you guys did tell me that i could use uh, like a card or something and stick it in there and then get it out but i'm too scared to do that <laughs> so um yeah this is my number one pop of 2020 by the way guys if you didn't know i did mention it in the last video should appear on the top of the screen there i did mention this is my first ever chase so um well, it's not really it's a glow chase i still don't have the yellow sticker chase thing um but I don't usually collect chases. Um, if I find them in the supermarket, of course I would get them, but um, I don't like buy them online because they are really, really expensive and it's not great for my student budget. So yeah, that's number one on my list. Okay, so number two on my list, my second favorite pop of 2020 was in fact Roz from Monsters Inc. This pop, I was just, I was so excited when I found this. I found it at the entertainer store in Westfield and um, it was like right at the back on its own. There was no other ones. So I picked it up. Um, let's get her out of the box. So here is uh, Roz out of her box. I really, really love this pop so much. It's, oh, that's why I made it onto my second favorite pop of 2020. Um, so yeah, it's super cool. I also have the boo from this line. Uh, let me get the box. So yeah, I also have the Boo, I've been keeping an eye on the Sully, but yeah, I have been keeping an eye out for Sully and of course the Chef as well, I really really want to get this this um, set completed at some point. But yeah, this is my second favourite pop of 2020, you can see she's got her little clipboard and her glasses and her beauty spot and her pencil, which is cool. Um, I recently watched Monsters University as well, it was on over Christmas, so I gave that a watch and brought back so many memories. <laughs> But yeah, great pop. Uh, let's move on to number three, my third favourite pop. Okay guys, so here is number three, my third favourite pop of 2020. The reason I turned them slightly is because the ring light makes... I noticed on my last video it put like glare on the plastic, so I just turned them slightly. Hopefully it makes it easier for you guys. Anyway, so here's Ang from Avatar The Last Airbender. It was Nickelodeon show. I didn't actually watch this when I was a child. Um, I watched it really recently actually, in 2020. So I was really happy to get this one. You know why? Because these are so difficult to find in the UK. Honestly, I couldn't find it anywhere. I ended up having to get it off Amazon and I waited. I was like checking it every day to see when it would go down in price. And then it did go down in price. So I got it straight away. I also got Zuko as well, but unfortunately Zuko didn't make it into my um, top 10 list. Um, you can see Zuko, he's on the back here, right there. Um, but let's get Ang out of his box. 
Okay, so whilst I'm getting Ang out of the box, if you really, really do want to see Zuko, I do have a video on him. Should appear on the top right of the screen. But here is Ang out of his box. He's with Momo, which is should go on his head actually. Um, yeah, so this is Ang. It's super cool. Really, really cool. I love the arrows. Such a cool feature. Well, obviously they had to add that in, <laughs> but um, it does come with a stand. But I'm not going to put the stand on because um, he doesn't need it. He can stand up perfectly fine. Um, without his stand, oh, uh, as soon as I say that, he falls over. <laughs> but yeah, so this is Ang, super cool pop. I made a really cool um, stop motion video of him on my Instagram page. If you do want to check that out, there is a link in the description. My Instagram page should appear somewhere on the screen as well. I really hope you guys do take the time to check that out. Um, so yeah, here's Ang. He's got his uh, glider on the back and the air, because he's an airbender, wrapped around him. Really, really cool. Number three on my um, top 10 of 2020. So number four on my list is quite a personal pop. I don't know if you guys, you might not know this character if you're not into Overwatch, but this is Anna from Overwatch. It's this special Shrike edition. She's in her Shrike skin. It doesn't say Shrike on there, but this is her Shrike skin. Um, it's really cool because Anna is one of my mains on Overwatch. She's a support hero, um, if you didn't know. And this is like her, sorry, I'll turn this. There's the, um, she's got her helmet on. Um, I actually don't have the common version of Anna, I really do hope to get her very very soon. Uh, but yeah, let's get her- oh, I just wanted to mention, I did get this one off Amazon. But I didn't get it off the Funko Shop one, and it did actually come with some damage on the box, which was really quite disappointing, made me very sad. But yeah, so let's get Anna out of her box. Oh, and guys, when I was taking that out then, I just noticed they've actually tried to sellotape it shut as if I wouldn't notice. I never noticed that before. How have I... I've had this pop for almost, like, nine months now, and I haven't even noticed that. Anyway, a bit disappointing, that. Okay, guys, so here is Anna out of her box. I don't think that I will ever be able to resell this pop because I have actually... Let me show you guys. I have put sticky tape on her feet because I made a stop motion video and she wouldn't stand up and it was really annoying me. I know I should have probably used the stand, um, but anyway, uh, that's done now so I can't undo that. But I don't want to resell them anyway because I really like collecting them. So this is Anna from Overwatch, she is a support hero if you did not know, she's got her healing gun and also her poison darts in there and this is her strike skin, so it's not her in her usual uh, skin, um, but yeah. Let me know if you guys play Overwatch, because um, I don't think it's as popular as, say, like, Roz. Everyone knows Roz. Um, but yeah, so this is number four on my list of uh, top ten pops of 2020. But so here's number five on my list. My, uh, we're halfway there to number ten now. Uh, so this is my fifth favourite pop of 2020. It is Harry Potter with his invisibility cloak. I picked this one up from Asda, and by the way, guys, this was my first ever Harry Potter Funko Pop. Well, I actually bought three at the same time, but I picked this one up first. So technically, this is my first ever Harry Potter pop. Um, yeah, let's get him out of his box. Okay, so here he is out of his box. He does have a stand, but I'm not going to put it on. Oh no, he doesn't have a stand. Yeah, he doesn't have a stand, um, it's just like this, this is just him, and he's got his invisibility cloak, which really helps him to stand up, because if he just had the feet, he would not be standing up. Um, so yeah, I thought this was really cool, I really loved the invisibility cloak. It's not the special edition one, it's just the, the common one, but it's super cool. He's got his glasses, he's got his scar, I don't know if you guys can see that scar, it's kind of like, as if it's been painted over, it's not like... I have another Harry Potter pop, and the scar is more like, you can see the scar, whereas this one is not very clear. I just wanted to show you on the back of the box that we picked up Harry Potter with the Invisibility Cloak, Albus Dumbledore with Baby Harry, and Ron Weasley puking slugs all at the same time, but I did pick up this guy first, because I noticed him first, and so that makes this one our first ever Harry Potter pop. So, um, yeah, I really hope to get these guys soon as well, because they're, they're super cool. Um, no, that's just the box, we're not looking at the box, we're looking at the pop, Dominic. Um, so yeah, here is the fifth pop in my list of top 10 pops of 2020. Okay, so that is the end of part one of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy and you would like to see all the pops featured in more detail and like stop motion videos of them uh, and photos and stuff like that, um, I do post those on my Instagram page up there. There's also a link in the description if you would like to check that out. Oh, maybe I might be able to link it up there. Oh, look at that. I don't know if I managed to do it or not, <laughs> but uh, you guys will be able to see if I managed to do it or not.
Thank you so much for watching part one of this video. Part two of this video should appear on the top up there. It should also be on the end screen, like it should be there. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in that video, in the next video. So see you soon, bye.